such an important topic and it's always so good chatting to Asha Dulab, a resident specialist when it comes to all things relationship and we love taking advice from her. But now for some more information and advice, we're chatting to our next guest who is a man on a mission to create a more financially literate South Africa. You heard correctly. And this is after having seen the continued devastation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, this is why he started his YouTube channel called Global Money Academy, which in the space of only eight months has amassed four thousand plus subscribers which is absolutely huge and over 180,000 views this morning we have Justin Harrison is a building a strong community of South Africans who are slowly but surely realizing that potentially finance is a journey into our own habits and that we are not a victim of our own circumstances so Justin's joining us this morning he's a coach and he's yet to share all his insights with us brother thank you so much for joining us Thanks, I think we are all desperate to ask you so many questions yeah. especially like where's my money going <laughs> <laughs> absolutely but but how are you doing, man? All good, all good. Yeah, it's been an it's been an interesting journey. Um, as we were saying before we uh, went on, we've we've been helping people get their credit reports and credit profiles since uh, 2008. And last year, when the pandemic hit, uh, we really started to see the effects it was having on people. Yeah. Um, not just financially, but emotionally too, because money really is emotion. Yeah. Mm. And so we started to sit down, and, and my business partners and I started thinking about how can we contribute to the situation? How can we help people? How can we bring personal finance to people in a way that is approachable and understandable? Because traditionally, personal finance is very sort of top-down, suits and tie approach, you know, and, and there's a generation that just does not respond to that. Yeah. So, you know, we, we sat down and the discussion that, that sort of came out of it was maybe a YouTube channel. We can reach people in their homes. We can break through all the negative news, all the negative stuff happening, and maybe just be a beacon of light. And that's really where it started. So July, uh, 18 we launched our first video and uh, the rest is really just history I mean we we are incredibly privileged and blessed to have a platform like YouTube yeah um, to be able to reach people and just and just break through the barriers that are that are normally there mm. Firstly, you look like money. Uh, you look like a million dollars. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. Take us through the inspiration behind why you actually wanted to create this and give this, this platform to South Africans? Well, I, th I think, you know, I've traveled to 70 countries around the world and I have never seen a nation as resilient as we are. I think though we have very bad financial habits and there is a definite financial literacy issue coming all the way from school, all the way through to adults. And so you go into your first job and you're just kind of expected to know what to do with your money. Nobody really sits down and says to you, you know, this is what you need to do. Plus, I think something we have to be realistic about in this country, we come from a legacy of apartheid. And so there's an entire generation that's missed out on key financial information and education. And so with us dealing with consumers' data all the time, you know, on our, on our credit platform, my credit status, um, we, we get to see the effects. We get to see people making really bad choices. Um, and as I was saying earlier, money really is emotion. So what, we, what we're doing is we're tackling this from a literacy perspective, but we're also tackling it from the emotional perspective. And we're really trying to help people understand that the choices they make today impact them in the future. So we've got to start with small, consistent actions. Mm. And so our inspiration really is for a better South Africa. We believe that people who are better at managing finances, who manage their money better, are in the end better citizens. Because at the end of the day, we all want better citizens in this country. So, I mean, I, I love what you're saying, and I, and I think you, you've got my buy-in, but for everybody else that does also maybe have this buy-in and wants to answer these questions, yep. where do we start? I mean, maybe I'm in the situation where I know I'm losing money, I don't know where it's going. Where Absolutely. does this journey begin? What's the first step that I should maybe take in the rest of Mzanzi that wants to start yep. managing their money properly? So the very first thing I say to people, you have to have a budget. Budget is the most important thing. And I think the problems with budgets, especially the ladies, they treat it like a target. <laughs> it isn't a target. A budget is really just limits on where you should be spending. And most people, when they draw up a budget, they tend to draw up a budget on what their expenses are. You need to draw up a budget on what you earn. You cannot spend what you don't have. Stay That's, in your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> That's how you get into trouble, right? So basically, start with a budget. That's the most important thing. And then really, Get the buy-in from your family, get the buy-in from your friends. You know, when there's no pressure from the people around you and everybody's on the same page, it really does help. And listen, you don't have to be, you know, the most financially literate person to draw up a budget. In the old days, they used to literally take envelopes and you'd have money put in the envelopes for every category that you'd be spending in. And as you spend, 
the envelope gets emptied out. And so you know exactly what you've got left at the end of the month. I bet you work. right now, yeah. you don't know what you've got left for every category, you know? And that's where the problem is. So like your entertainment envelope, 100%. my food, my exactly. education envelope. Okay. Exactly. And we've all just got one big envelope that's just emptying every month. And money's digital today. So we've lost, the, we've lost this, this tangible feel of things. So it's, it's, it's easier to spend what we can't see, right? Yeah. I, I'm actually, it's taking me back to my grandpa I used to put like envelopes under the, the exactly. bed and it just be like, this is for entertainment, this is for yep. everything. But of course, you can give us some more useful tips a bit later on yep. about how we can budget and also the people that's living uh, hand to mouth and yes. some useful tips on that. So, Mzandi, please do stay with us. We've got some more money talk coming your way.